I mean, it's just it comes to a point where enough is enough. I don't mm -hmm. want to be angry. It doesn't feel good to be angry. I want to let this go. And you, you can't control others. So how can I let it go for self? Mm -hmm. Why do I want to carry this weight around? You know, we carry our traumas with us for life. And it doesn't have to be that way. And something that I learned a lot in my time in South America was we, especially in the Western culture, when we fall down and we bump our knee, we put a Band-Aid on it. Mm -hmm. And the Band-Aid just kind of masks the problem. It's not what's going on deep down inside. It's superficial and on the surface. And we do that with our brains when we go through a traumatic experience. If we put a Band-Aid over it and we try and just forget about it. But that Band-Aid doesn't ever really get removed until we decide to rip it off. And ripping it off for me is facing your demons, facing yourself in the mirror and staring it down and asking, how can I release this? I don't want to feel this way. I don't deserve to feel this way. Nobody deserves to feel the way that I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. And it's also the common humanity piece. You know, that's a big, big piece of, of everything very relative to today of like, we're not alone in our suffering. You know, as you're sharing your story, it's like we're all mirrors. We all put different topics and ideas to our conversations, but we've all experienced the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was going through my healing, people would say all the time, they would look at me like, oh my God, I can't believe what you're going through. I can't even imagine what that must feel like. And that, that, that statement started to really get under my skin because it's like, yes, you can. <laughs> if all you've ever experienced is a bee sting, that's all you know of extreme discomfort so there is mm -hmm. no level it's not like anybody is worse off or better off we're all on the same playing field here mm -hmm. it's all just a mirror you know it's all just a mirror so i'm not alone in this i have a support team i had an awesome support team when i was going through it all lots of encouragement and love and and community and i think that's what got me bounced back as quick as i did